So I'm back to doing my online ordering of my groceries after about a month's break. I thought it was going to be easier for me to just top up when I ran out of something. I was uh, trying to get my fruit and vegetables as fresh as I possibly could and I used to buy a few things at a time and then I would just duck down to the supermarket and top up. But um, my $150 budget soon um, increased a lot from that, over well over $200. 266 I think was one fortnight. And not that there's anything wrong with that. I think that's still probably pretty good, $130 a week. Um, but I've done it for so long for $150. I just kept um, keep thinking, well, I'll go back to doing it online, click and collect and um, be done with it. But also, um, I'm not too happy with Coles at the moment either with the click and collect. I um, just picked this up this morning and the order was wrong. The f uh, fresh fruit and vegetables aren't being picked, like the best quality ones aren't being picked. So whether or not I still do my order online and then just take that order and um, go around the supermarket and pick it up myself. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next fortnight, but I'll do that and um, see how I go. But this is what I got in this fortnight's order. Just a bit low on fruit and vegetables and it's back to school today. So um, I've still got lots of bread and milk and um, other things so these are just the things that are oh, still lots of um, fresh uh, vegetables too in the freezer that I froze so um, here we go so I'm happy with the I'm perfect um, range of vegetables they're a lot cheaper they're not quite perfect looking as the other ones are so and they're still fresh so I've got carrots avocado um, bananas onions potatoes, spring onions, a whole sugar loaf cabbage, just some spaghetti and spiral pasta, uh, chopped tomatoes, four long life milk, red kidney beans, tin tuna, uh, some new muesli, it's untoasted so I'm going to give this one a try, it's just got lots of nuts in it and it was um, half price, some frozen mixed vegetables, the crinkle cut um, potato chips for Easy meal nights, grated cheese. This was a substitute item. It's not normally the ham that I buy, but um, I got four of those to replace the one I normally get. Dog food, um, pantry and fridge dog food. Tortilla wraps, tortilla chips. They're not the brand I normally get, but these were on special, so they were the same price. My laundry powder and um, the laundry booster. The soaker um, which is the Coles home brand and according to choice magazine it's actually quite comparable to the Aldi one which I think is the highest on the um, best stain remover soaker so I'm going to give that a try I normally just get the um, vanish one but I'm trying the Coles home brand one my Coles Greek yogurt they didn't have the um, butter spread that I normally get, so I was, that was a substitute. Um, big tub of ice cream for milkshakes. Beef mince and uh, chicken breasts. Frozen uh, fish and some fish fingers. So um, the whole order came to about $120 something dollars. So that leaves me about $25 for a top up next week of bread and milk and fruit and vegetables anything else I might need so that's how it works that's how the shop smart eat well program works I just top up with the groceries that I need to cook the meals that my, I know my family will eat and I can create a wide variety you can check out what I cook for dinner every every night in the shop smart eat well program Facebook group and um, find out Get some meal inspiration from all the other members of the group. Thanks for watching. Bye.